It's me, Bloom. Don't you remember me? Don't you know my voice? You're the one who helped me escape from Cloud Tower, aren't you? But but who are you? Come to me. But Find me. Find you how? Look around. Look within. What does that mean? You know the answer, Bloom. <gasps> you will find me when you find yourself. Your destiny awaits you. What do you mean, my destiny? Take my hand, Bloom, and prepare for the journey. The journey? What are you talking about? Prepare. What? Uh, prepare for what journey? For starters, the journey out of bed, sleepyhead. Hmm? You'd sleep through a solar storm, wouldn't you? Flora, was I talking in my sleep? You have no idea. <laughs> Look within. What's my destiny? I was having the weirdest dream. Well, I'm all packed. What do you mean? Where are you going? I'm going home. Today's the day of the rose. Well, what about classes? There are no classes. This is a holiday where everyone celebrates their parents. It's one of my favorite days of the year. Sounds like Mother's Day and Father's Day together. So are you going to go home? I didn't make plans. Perfect! So I... You can keep us company! I hate when the school's empty. I don't know why. I just find it depressing. Later! Professor Whiskers! Leaving? Of course! Going to see Dear Mama. Gonna transform into a basilisk and give her a scare. Funny guy. So, why are you sticking around, Bloom? It wasn't a choice, really. I just found out about this holiday. I couldn't read the magic, Hal. I guess I'm still a little behind. Anyway, why didn't you two go home? I've never told you guys this, but... All's not well with the royal family. My mom and dad are getting a divorce. So now there are two palaces and things are getting real complicated. But these things happen, right? And what's your story, Musa? Huh? I lost my mom when I was a kid, so... Today's always been kind of a bittersweet day. And my dad's on that realm-wide hip-hop tour of his, so he's M.I.A. Musa, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Don't apologize, Stell. Of course you didn't know. I mean, I've never been good at talking about it. It's like my dad put in one of his songs. It takes a strong heart to cry, but a stronger heart to say why. Well, we've got a little family right here, and I say we have a good time today. Bloom's right. The suns are shining, there's a festival in the city, shopping and concerts. Is that your cell, Stella? Who is it? It's a text message from Prince Sky. He and some of the other boys will be at the festival today. Wait, that's not all. Guess what, girls? They're inviting us to the dance tonight. Woohoo! Shall we? I think I'm just gonna hang back. But have fun. Get over here, you two. You guys rock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> you three witches are starting to stir my cauldron. Do you know what this is? It's a letter of protest from Miss Paragonda over to Althea. She did not appreciate your breaking into her school. She trusts that I will find suitable punishment. I'm angry. Do you know why? I'll tell you. If you're going to wreak havoc, do it without making fools of yourselves. None of this bumbling around. None of this releasing third-rate beasts into the world. None of this getting snared by a gaggle of freshman pixies. You are Cloud Tower seniors, and I expect much better from you. When those fairies embarrass you, they embarrass this school. But I'm going to give you a chance to make things right. A chance to prove that you can cause chaos in a fashion befitting our prestigious academy. So I want you to find a way to rub their pert little noses in the mud and rain sludge on their parade. Oh, we're your girls. That's the spirit. Hmm. Let's find out what is most precious to these girls on this insufferable holiday. Ixius Perunius. Oh, uh, yes. Boys, do whatever it takes. Break some hearts, break some bones, I don't care. Just to make sure that by the end of the day, pixie eyes are filled with tears. Do you understand? Completely. Well then, get to work. I remember when you used to tell me about this place, Mom. You said it was your favorite spot when you went to Althea. The spot where Dad first kissed you. Let me 
tell you what's been going on. Classes are good, and I'm acing potions. And I met this cool guy, his name's Ribbon, and he's a total blazer. I mean, he's kind of rough around the edges. But I think that's his way of flirting, you know? Anyway, I'm going to spend the whole day with you. We'll trip down to the gazebo on the lake, and then I'll take you to the studio and play you this new tune I wrote. Now look at this place. This festival gets bigger and bigger every year. No, actually, it just gets lamer and lamer every year. Riven, you're the reigning king of negativity. What's that? Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> A rose for you, princess. Thanks. Good to see you. You too. <laughs>